In this video, we want to find the zeros of the function f of x equal to 2 cosine of 3x plus 1 on the interval from 0 to the pi. So that means we're including the 0 and we're including pi. Now we can test the endpoints of this interval easily by plugging in 0 where the x is. We get 2 cosine of 0. But the cosine of 0 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2 and 1 gives me 3. I don't get a 0. Put a pi where the x is and compute 2 cosine of 3 pi plus 1. Cosine of 3 pi is negative 1. So negative 1 times 2 is negative 1. Or negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 and 1 is negative 1. So that doesn't give me a 0. So all we're doing here is we want to find out what values of x. That's 2 cosine of x plus 1 equal to zero. So this problem is just another way of stating that you want to solve an equation. So let's solve this for the cosine of 3x. I'll leave the parentheses off here, but again this is cosine of the 3x. That's what we have in parentheses there. So take the 1 over, or add negative 1 to both sides, and then divide by 2. So we get cosine of 3x is equal to negative 1 half. You could take your calculator here and compute this out. 3x. Take the cosine inverse of both sides. Cosine inverse of the left side would just give me 3x. And then on the right side, I'd have cosine inverse of negative 1 half. Now that would tell me then that 3x is equal to cosine of inverse of 1 half. So on your calculator, you can do that. Let's just go ahead and do it here. And I'm going to set my calculator, even though we're dealing, we want the answer in radians, the interval is from 0 to pi. So we want all the zeros between 0 and pi only. I'm going to set my calculator to degrees here. So I'm going to say second, uh, get cosine inverse of negative 1 half. So negative, I just put 0.5. Same thing. And that gives me 120. So remember, that's in degrees. I want it in radians, so let's convert 122 degrees. That should be 2 pi over 3. So remember, the pi is, is 180. 3 into 180 is 60. And 60 times 2 is 120. So let's set it up this way. 120 is somewhere over here in quadrant 2. So that would have a reference angle of 60 degrees. So is there another angle that has that same value of uh, negative 1 half? x is negative. I find a point on that terminal side. So let's go. We want then dx to be negative to get the same value. So if this is reference angle there. We have two solutions to this, one in quadrant two, which of course is this angle here, which is 180 minus 60, which is, like I said, 120. And then this angle that goes around the other way to quadrant three, that would be 180 and 60. That's 240. Convert that to radians. That's 4 pi over 3. Again, pi 180 divided by 360 times 4 is 240. So 240, those are 2. Now, this is 3x, so we want to find x. So what do we do here? And we're going to give the general solution to this, the complete solution. So let's do this here. If this had just been an x, Instead of cosine of 3x, if this had just been an x, then your answer would be, in that interval, your answer would be 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. But if we wanted the complete solution or the general solution, we would add the, the period of this function, which is 2 pi. So this would be 2k pi. Again, if this was just an x, a complete solution or general solution would be 
x equal to 2 pi over 3 plus a multiple of the period which is 2 pi. So here I'm using a, okay, it's 2 pi times k, where k is in the integer. And then we would also have 4 pi over 3 plus a multiple of the period, which I'll just write it as 2 pi or 2k pi. And that would be the complete solution. Had it just been at plane OX, but it's a 3 here. So I have to go ahead and divide through by 3. To get x, so divide everything by 3, which is the same thing as multiplying by 1 third. So this thing would be 2 pi over 9 plus 2k pi over 3. For the second part, again multiplying by 1 third, this would be 4 pi over 9. This would be 2k pi over 3. So then if I wanted specific solutions in the interval from 0 to pi, then I would just pick values for k. That would be k. k equal to 0. What do I get if k is equal to 0? What solution or, or 0 do I get? What happens if I k is equal to 1? And then I go the negative route. So just so that you can see this a little bit clearer here, here, and this is what it looks like. 3x equal to, so I'm just giving you the same thing, but in this way you can see it a little bit clearer. 3x equal to this. This is general solution. But at 1x, I divide through or multiply by 1 third. I get x is equal to 2 pi over 9 plus 2k pi over 3. And then the other part, 4 pi over 9 plus 2k pi over 3. And then if I want specific solutions, see that's, this would be, this would be my general or, or complete solution. If they just ask for the solution of that given equation, which in this case, of course, is zeros. This is what I would give. But they want specific answers or zeros in the interval from 0 to pi. Then you would simply say, okay, what happens if k is equal to 0? We would have x then. So if k is equal to 0, let's go back to this, this here, okay, for the first part here. k equal to 0 here, I'm just left with I'm left with 2 pi over 9 for the first one. This part here cancels with k is equal to 0. You get 2 pi over 9. And for the second one, this cancels. And I'm left with 4 pi over 9. And those are in the interval from 0 to pi. We already tested, we already tested the value at 0 for 0 and for pi, and th those weren't uh, answers or zeros. So we wanted to find out, okay, what's what are the zeros in between 0 and pi? So now let's just have some other values. What happens if k is equal to 1? k is equal to 1. So for the first one, k is equal to 1, I get, and all I did here, going from, from this step here to this step, is I multiplied these by 3 to get the common denominator. I wanted, I wanted everything with the same denominator, easier to work with. So 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, the same thing for the second one. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, that's all we did going from the second, this part here, to this part here. So what happens at k equal to 1? So for the first one, k equal to 1, I get 2 pi over 9 and 6 pi over 9. That's 8 pi over 9. Is that in the appropriate interval? Yeah, 8 pi over 9 is less than pi, so it falls in that interval. And for the second part here, k is equal to 1, that gives me, that would be 4 pi, 6 pi, that's going to give me 10 pi over 9. And you can see that's larger than pi. 9 goes into 10, 1, so that's going to be 1 pi plus 1 ninth of pi. So that's larger. 
So we can stop there because we want to stay. They want these the zeros in the n from zero to pi. What happens if we try negative values? Because k can be positive or negative here. So for the first one we have this would be a negative six pi over nine and a positive two pi over nine. That's gonna come out negative, so we don't use that one. And the second one again, if k is a negative, this would be four pi over nine and negative six pi over nine. That's gonna come out a negative. So that's as far as we can go. This is it. So the zeros for this function are 2 pi over 9, 4 pi over 9, 8 pi over 9. Now let's test it out with the calculator. We're going to plug them into the function and we need the calculator in radian because we're going to plug in radian values. So let's go and change this to radian. So it's going to be 2 cosine of 3 times x. So we're going to try the first one. So for the first one, is we're going to plug in 2 pi over 9. So if I put in 2 pi over 9 there, that's going to give me, what, 6 pi. That's divided by 9. That's plus 1. So all we're doing is plug it into the original function to verify that this does give me a zero. So this has to come out to, to zero. Okay? Zero. Let's try the next one. So instead of typing all this again, I'm just going to hit second and entry. So I get the next one. So the next one I'm going to plug in 4 pi over 9. So that's going to be multiplied. Since it's 3x, that, multipl that gets multiplied by, by 3. So this gives me then, hit enter. That gives me zero. That checks out. And then for the third one again, I'll get second entry and multiply the 8 pi over 9 by 3. And this should come out to 24 pi over 9. And that's the plus 1. So 2 cosine 24 pi over 9 plus 1. Hit enter. Gives me 0. Checks out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.